Good morning, friend. This is Jeff Arcus. Welcome again to the daily webinar. Today we are Tuesday, 30 of July, 2019. Remind you, this webinar is not meant to be a financial advice. This is only an education presentation. Please consider the term and condition before you continue. Same when you're receiving this recording. As well, thank God for another day into my life and I pray His blessings today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, so let's start through here. Thank you everyone hear me. The video is running. So we got a um, Japanese uh, Bank of Japan outlook report to date. No time, monetary policy statement, no time. We'll see what happened in the same thing, uh, press conference. So I'll um, have to keep an eye looking for the for that one. The U.S. Uh, CB consumer confidence is at midnight for the U.S. in uh, wow 11 a.m. We're gonna have a lot of Chinese uh, things. So tomorrow it's gonna be so. Australia, and New Zealand, I guess at the moment would be some of the currencies to stay back until the new opportunity because anything can happen from from there. Right, so let's uh, look the last uh, chats and reviews I did through the PowerPoint of yesterday. So as you notice, a uh, few, th few things is going to be changing into um, into that um, into there is that uh, um, you're going to have one, two, and three. So identifying the identifying the um, um, what the strategy we're using and as well we're going to follow the daily because at the end of the day the daily index meter is, is the one to trigger our trades whether we do right or wrong you know so this is the two things that's going to be so just going quickly for yesterday so we got the three uh, weekly candle trading strategies which is the weekly candle uh, trend lines, the weekly candle close direction and the weekly candle close reversals. And we need to know exactly when they use and the weekly candle close trend lines. We're looking monthly support and the uh, support and resisting in the monthly time frame. And then we're looking at just draw trend lines and the highs and the lows, copy to the daily chat, wait for the daily breakout and make sure the index meet is with us. And this is um, as we look yesterday, all of this, oh, oh. <laughs> this the volume down. and this is a breakout. Now, we know that through history, um, patterns breakouts is one of the most very old um, sort of kind of strategies being used by everyone, isn't it? So that's how I learned about patterns. And I find, that, you know, if you want to draw patterns in one time frame, you have to go to the bigger time frame. And it makes more easy. And this is how we find it. So the trick is here is to just uh, draw a trend lines on the weekly time frame. So when the daily breaks those trend lines, this is going to be the strategy number one. So you have to know by memory. So when you look the charts, you know what are you trading from there. And uh, we see that again and again. So a simple, so this is the only thing we recognize, you know, this is on the, the weekly, but we recognize in the monthly highs and lows of the monthly, always going to, you know, cause some kind of um, effect in the future so when we see this that normally is we just put the trend line clone at the bottom and wait for that day when the index meter is pointing us out and uh, and as you see we have an internal close and as well an external close so all of these are valid uh, this is maybe it's a monthly trend line this is a weekly trend line but all of these are actually quite good um so there's another one over here, and that's the same thing. Look how all is this. If we're going to the line chart, we will see a very perfect, that's what I put it, the exactly line, and in the future. So when the market, look how how it goes through here, you know, and suddenly the date that the Lord has made, we have, we have a song there, and that's what I believe is a key day. So this first strategy, as I say, it will be a, a bit aggressive. And, and that's what I recommend, you know, uh, just, you know, better better to to actually um, just do a small lot size. And when the thing's running, then do the rest over there. So, again, how to draw the trend lines, go to the bigger time frame. What a beautiful trend line is fine because of the weekly highs and weekly lows. Wait for the break, and there we are. And then the market just goes and, and again, support, support, resistance became support, weekly trend lines, daily breakout, index meter, and that's what the, the whole program, that alone, 
you know, can you can really trade from there without any hesitation uh, whatsoever over there. Um, and then we go support, trend lines, breakout, index meter, and there it is. It's just it's just very repeatable. There is no doubt to that. I will send you this PowerPoint so you keep this PowerPoint. It's not to spread around. Please, it's just only for your own personal use. Um, as you see, I haven't put the GMT uh, logos here yet because um, tonight I'm going to have a meeting with Shane and maybe sometime he need to do some touch ups, make sure that everything is there. But you can keep this uh, as a, you know, for your own personal use before the company logos will come into place over there. So that's another one as well. You know, so look how all the resistance, the support it is affects over here. And the only thing we need to keep it. The first one we felt, that's okay. The next one will be over there. And at the end of the day, no matter what tell you, this way we can really relax in our trade just by something very simple. So when we find this, uh, we're just going to, Make sure to put it in a, in a um, trend lines. Um, the things that, um, you know, that what is strategy we trade in, but the number one is, I believe, is very, very good. When you look into the monthly time frame, something like that, you know, it's telling you something is going on. It's a matter of drawing the trend lines. Once the first trend line, I guess the first one would be that one over here. Come, fails the second one, two weeks. Following the weeklies, week by week, draw the trend line, wait for the break, index meter, and there we are. Now, who, who loved this first strategy alone without anything more? All right, so very simple, very straightforward, you know, and, um, and yeah, just just matter of keeping the eyes now the way we, we do it. And, you know, and this... Look, in these times, you know, um, be, this is before the other, the, yeah, that's my first original the eight. And the only thing I was doing daily highs, daily losses, stop, as a stop losses, daily entries, high as an entry, daily losses, stop losses, and tell you it, it goes to. The second one is the weekly candle close, which is 2013. This strategy has born. Now we trade in the direction of the candle close. Of course, look in the, the uh, strength of the watch list over there. We see how powerful it is. Uh, looking for those levels, you know, sometimes we're going through this sideways mode, but when it breaks, it breaks and it goes big time, as, as we see there. And this is where we, we have to take the winners with the losses. Last week, if we see, we got more losses than winners. Do we care about, you know? The main thing is that, you know, one good trade pays for all, and a few trades actually over, upset all the mistakes that we did la last week. So that's um, a, a very simple, and that time I did not have the strategy of the trend line breakout. So I only have the pendant every week, just trading regardless. And it was not too bad, you know, just waiting for the, in this case, this is the beginning of the week. Look the daily low, daily high, daily low for here for the, my entry, stop loss in the previous. And this is kind of using fractals. Market tends to come back always over and over and again. And that's uh, a quite aggressive as well to try it. You know, and when the market is not coming back to that, it's just looking for the next break levels. And that's how easy it is, it's become over there. So same over there. Look at Monday. So Monday always is a day. It's a sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. It really is, is no, no um, quite good. But things like this one, what we're looking is trading the weekly direction. Nothing more is changing us in that moment. This is the strategy number two that uh, we're looking to trade in uh and this is was because that um, I did not have the first strategy. This is 2013. The first strategy, 2015, is the second strategy. And 2019 is the third strategy. Wow, what a amazing change is being happened from one to another. Now I have a new slides here, which is uh, what is going to be my preferred way of looking the weekly candle close. If I would not have the first one uh, strategy, I would have used this one. Uh, sorry, I would do this kind of entry in this one. But because the first strategy actually captured the break of the or the beginning of any candle close, so I have the luxury in this one to wait for the pullback on a daily. So let me see, getting uh, more and more and 
more just go through here um, still more it should be around here now there we are so this is actually the way I want to be using that maybe maybe I don't know whether um to leave the first um you know, because that was just the kind of all. But this is what I really wanted to tr to to look in here, is in this strategy alone. Now the reason why is because you see when we look in this uh, weekly trend line mid over there is actually that weekly day. We got a monthly support level, so this is our trading day for this one. That's my stop loss, and then you know if I move my stop loss it would be triggered over there. But that's the first strategy. That's the 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 day that I, I want to be looking. So right in this day is when I, now we, I'm trading the index, the direction of the weekly. We have the shopping level. We got the weekly direction and we got the pullback. So in this case, as you see, we're just trading, you know, from the beginning. I, I shifted my the daily to where it need to be shifted so we can do. But this is the way that I want to treat the second strategy. So have a find an ABC. And that would be very easily to do with the index meter, especially, and make sure that this one there. So that's going to be strategy number two because the one now I can I can actually trade here because I already in the trade for the strategy number one has put me into. So this is strategy number two could be just an add position into that. So every time a daily index meter point me there, if I look this one over here, I say, yep, that's a trade for me to take it. Uh, and the reason I want to use that because I don't want to clash between the strategy number two and the strategy number three, which is sometimes the weekly we treat as a reversal instead of a of oh, that. You understand that that part there, you know? By looking di directly in these positions like that, so I don't want to be trading, you know, um, um, just the weekly there unless I have an ABC formation, then I can trade. So that give me space to to insert the strategy number three and find for these opportunities um, the market present me over there. So that's exactly what I'm wanting. The candle is close about. We got an ABC and that's all we do care. All right, and from that moment we trade. So here when the market is continue, every retracement is our frame, daily index meter, trade over there and that it is. So the beginning, ABC. So always is going to be there, as you see as well, if we just trade in purely the, the weekly trend lines uh, breakout, sometimes we're going to get caught up over there. But look at the end of the day, the second strategy will get us into that, that every time we've got a retracement day down, if the weekly is with us, that's good to trade. Market breaks, comes back, daily down, weekly down. And that's, that's for me, is actually momentum. So if I... In here, I decide to trade, you know, I say, okay, I'm going to be trading first. You know, my weekly um, candle close, uh, sort of the weekly trend line. So this would be my first trade. So right over there, the index meter. So it's that, it's that. So this is when we put it there. And here, what we can do there is add position. But imagine that the buffer that we already possess, you know, and once we got the first one and the second one, you know, I believe all the time the market retrace and give us a day like this one is always going to be another opportunity to actually to add positions as the market going. Now, I I believe in any any rent. If you follow the LU wave, you know I think a two to three add positions maximum should be add into any move because the market can turn around. Especially when the market do the silly thing, you never know when there's a big run. So you know, as long as these these positions are safe. You know, the buffer that we have from that position for this position allow us to look for a third position and we can enjoy the, um, the trade that way over there. So this is the second strategy. This is how always it's going to be that every time we have an ABC, of course, the daily index meter, we point us to there. We need to have the weekly over there. We got a monthly support. Yes, we got a monthly support over there. We got a weekly candle close and we got the ABC. All right, this is more... This strategy is more like a people like me that is 50 over, you know, getting to the to the to the um, retirement age, 
and I, w I don't want the trend lines break out. I just wanted this beautiful ABC. If the market runs without me, that's that's okay. But this is quite good. ABC weekly candle close in our direction. We got support, support. You know everything that we could look at around, and we say, yeah, that's that's the one we we're looking for. And look, actually, the monthly as well. This is now where we're gonna find this one because the monthly is down and the weekly is up. And then we know that you know we have a try to to happen in uh, into that. As the market continue in his running down, so we got another day. So once if we miss those days like that, we just need to you know step back and wait for the new day because that's the beginning of the new run that we're gonna be having over there. All right, and um, so that's it. So the the number uh, uh, three. It's just simple the retracement that we're waiting. What we want, what we'll be looking is for this. All right. And this is now the opportunity. Let's let's imagine if here I want to say, okay, I want to try short, you know, and that. But do we have the a, a various ABC here? No. So if we we concentrate with the weekly candle close only for a setup, ABC or golden candle setup, you know. We 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 will not be worried about looking to go short because the first trade is actually the retracement day, and then we have you know quite quite good here retracement day retracement day retracement day retracement day, and tell you there is nothing more. So the weekly is down the day the the weekly two weeks down one week up, and right over there is when we need to get into this trade. Two weeks down one week up the day that is telling us. There. Now, if we're looking over here, do I have an ABC bullish if I want to trade that bullish? You see, we draw the trend lines, we're looking support from here, but we never have the daily, never did have it. So that's when we're gonna, that's what I say, we cannot just trade the, the weekly candle close as soon as it's open on Monday unless we have an ABC set up with a, a strategy number two. How many of you agree with me in that? You know, that that would be, uh, you know, then it will actually completely the melt the strategy together in uh, in these directions over there so that it is another week up so do we have here an abc to go long no as you see there, there's no there so if it's not there so we just treating this as a retracement the first day that it shows without one la, like that you know it's just simple uh the way that we can and now you know Insert the strategy number three and, and, and not be confused because otherwise we're going to be in a clust, uh, cluster of, of trades and we don't want to do that. All right. And this is how we can do. One week up, do we have an ABC? Yes, we got the line, we got the break, but what is my day that is telling me to go up? No. So at the beginning of the week, I'm treating this as a reversal. If through the week I have the ABC, then things change the other way around. Do you clear with that? Anyone has any problems to, to, to understand that? No? Do you reckon that's an, a, a very good way? Now, when we say, okay, um, you know, if um, if we miss that ABC setup, you know, we miss a big run. But remember, we got the strike number one, which is going to trade the, the daily breakout, isn't it? You know, and this is the other thing. Let's see here. We trade that one uh, as a breakout. We got into that trade, but we're carrying out a stop loss over there, and we got a stop out over there. So the previous week we were trading that, but suddenly we got out of the trade, and now we got as a retracement over there. And as you see that, so two weeks down, one week up, and any day that from here the market is telling me, I don't know, I'm just guessing here. But it's the index meter who has to, you know, point me to to this to this one over there. So here it is, two weeks up, one week down, and right over there, the first day that is telling us, watch me over because I'm about to run. The market retrace, you know, and um, let's go back to that other one. So through all this season, the market retrace, there it is. Look even that week over there that we could say, oh, okay, we're gonna be looking too short. We draw the trend lines we never have. So at the beginning of the week, we need to treat even this one. We need to treat as a reversal. But when the ABC form, now we know that we 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 actually have a turning point from from that one over there. 
okay? So that it is two weeks now, retracement over there. Today that is breaking everything low. So what a beautiful setup in this one. And that's the end of the presentation. So let's look now our chats. And as well, let's discuss about the E8. I don't know how many how many of you got triggered with that, um, the pound crosses. And any, any brave person around got triggered. So this is one of the problems that really we, we have you know, about the midpoint uh, retracement, okay? But there must be some way that we can do. Now, yesterday when I was, you sort of kind, um, um, well, Lawrence, thank you. Thank you very much because I was concerning to say, I hope so anyone got those trades. Um, but we're going to discuss how, what the options we can have it to, to make sure not to miss those nice trades. How clear was, you know, the, the daily with the three strategies indicators over there, isn't it? So, so we need to find a way that how we can, you know, actually sort things out with those ones, so we don't have that that problem again over there. Now, I find myself that the, actually the um, the thirty minutes setup would actually make sure that we're gonna have those trays in place over there. All right. So let me let me have a look and here so we can see the trades that yesterday. For example, let's say you, you didn't you know trade that, that date over there, you trade them from, from here that yesterday it was the pound US and everything over there. But look now in um and I didn't get triggered, even if I had the 30 minutes, I didn't get triggered because I put these things off. Now, Richard, you are here. Is any way that I can have an alert warning in the EA that the, the or the face make a bigger face that you know it, that mistake has happened in two accounts that I have in my other computer? I did the same mistake. I did to not connect that thing over there. I remember in my train line EA, I used to have a a, a red signal warning me um, that something they, they miss, it was a misspelling and I have a red letters here to tell me correct over there. I don't know, Richard, if you have any idea that how can I, I, I think I'm not the only one who does this mistake, but for some reason, you know, forgot to put that one there and there it is, that big mistake when I came on, uh, which are the Trendline EA. The first one, the the um, Javierko one, the the they did. Remember when we put a train line and there was a misspelling because with uh, Magic, uh, how was the name of the other one? Magic line or Magic EA? Train line me Magic EA. I don't remember even the name of that EA. That we, I, this is how it started. Remember that one of the biggest problems was misspelling the commands and suddenly nothing happened. Oh yeah, a stick of Magic stick. That's the one, Magic stick. Uh, so in my EA, we correct that problem. Remember, what, if I draw, if I spell cell with only one L, uh, and the moment I click OK, it used to come as, uh, as uh, or it used to not change the color. That's what it was. It used to, you know, used to change the color. So I don't know, something, you know, that is uh, waking me up here and say, hey, you you done something wrong, you know. Um, and, and then, you know, yeah, I think it is. This EA has some warnings as well in here, when especially with the grid must with the grid thing, uh, where it was here, for example, say do not use the same midpoint um, as there. So if I use in here the midpoint uh, retracement and I put the midpoint uh, there, I think it uh, signal uh, something. Oh, here it is. It's on the other side. No active change or entry type. So, so that's what I, you know, if that one there I can have here and tell me, oh, hey, there, there is no happy face or something. I don't know. It's, it's just something that uh, uh, I've done this mistake many times that I'm just it's like, come on, you know, it has to, it has to be a way to correct because those mistakes are not acceptable anymore. Richard say, oh, yes, the auto trading is in the platform. Don't think the E8 code as the auto trading, but I will look. Yeah, some I, I don't know if anyone done the, that's the same mistake, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyway, so <clears throat> yesterday if we look in there in the 30 minutes, look what the 30 minutes will it will get that tray. You know, so 
if we're looking at the one hour and we say, okay, this is my stop loss, 40, let's see 50 pips over there, and then come to the 30 minutes, that is the trade that could really beautiful run, you know, from, from that. If we look in the, all the pounds were in the same, maybe maybe not this one there, pound Australia, we didn't have a, a clear there, but here we did have in, in um, uh, there, you know, and look, it did not get triggered at all because it did not touch over there. But if we go through the 30 minus, look what happened. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is nearly London time. And this is when maybe we can, we're going to need to use and the 30 minus uh, our entry looking for the, for that, um, you know, the distance from here to there, 70 pips. Look, this is what it says. This is what we have to do. No trailing stop, no nothing. Just take the, take the, the risk as it is and come to the 30 minus and that will get that trade and then run beautiful from there. So this is, um, I think is um, quite exciting because here the same thing never came. So I don't know if Richard, you got those trades yesterday, you know, waiting for the one hour to come in. This is the 20. So even in the 20, but if we go to the 30 minus, you will get that one there. All right. So I think that would correct us those um those trades you know that sometimes we 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 miss and as i say so now if this is there this is my there 40 pips 50 pips that's it and then make sure come over here because they will come back over there <clears throat> oh you say the break of the 10 so lawrence did the break of the 10 uh i still wants to you know myself my person said still wants to stick with the midpoint I know the break is, is good. My only problem with the break, Lawrence, is that normally in the Asian market, we always has false breaks most of the time. And then the market retrays. I know that, you know, yesterday it was an exceptional day because as you see, you know, this the, the lately hasn't been done like that. But um, but yeah, this this is this is the way that we need to, you know, um, um, do it. And I think that, that we don't do the pound, sw pound Swiss, but even here, you know, we, we, we look like that, but when we look like that, look where they got it. So, all right. So 30 minutes, it will be the new setup and, uh, and we'll see how, how we do for, for that one over there. And, um, and, uh, and, uh, and, um, and that, that it is. Um, what also what also okay let's look now the chats um this is tuesday so now the reason i want to do the daily first because we want to get so this is the the group the pound group this is the euro group and this is the swiss group we we have and the us group so as you see so we you know once we start leaving the number 10 below we know that actually the possibilities from there could be you know no no that that good so we want to trade the biggest potential now if this one over here comes with a strategy one two or three so now that you know which one is which one so when i set up over there and even if you find something that i miss i would appreciate that you say look jeff this this setup on the today we have this strategy and maybe i, I miss out over there all right so that was, you know, it's clear yesterday a number one pound Canadian. So today it's just continue running over there. And one because we got a weekly trend line and daily breakout. Simple like that. So, you know, it's, that's the, the, the way. So we got there. We, everything is telling us over here. And as you see, the 30 minutes will get that trade. Uh, uh, amazing. The one hour, it never come back. Lucky that... Um, um, Lawrence did the, the break thing, which is works as well. We just need to manage. I think, you know, if you do the break team uh, as well, I think it's a good way over there. Okay, if this is there, my stop loss maybe cannot be there, but it has to be down to the previous fractal just to avoid if the market comes back and stop me out over there. So maybe, maybe that. But uh, the idea of the EA is just to leave hands off, walk away, you know, and let the, the EA do the rest work for us. So that's the number three as we're looking over there. So beautiful setup it again. Why? Because yes, we treated the number one. We get a stop out with the with the with the number one strategy. But in this week, 
Now we did have yesterday the pound New Zealand. It was on a very, very weak spot. So the number, the, that's a retracement, that's the day, and that's the break. This is very, and as you see, I, I just, yeah, uh, kept them one hour, didn't go trigger in my other two platforms as well. So when I, when I wake up this morning and I look over there, I, did, I haven't having been breakfast, you know, I just got sick for that because such a big, nice moves. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that, those moves does not happen that often. And the week is done for many of us, isn't it? Maybe for Lawrence, the week is already in place. So, so yeah, now here we, ne we need to use the Fibonacci target and just get the one point, uh, the first target, number one, because it will hit at that precisely over there. So, Pound Australia. Now, Pound Australia yesterday we did not have. It was quite in the strong over there. Maybe if I would have come at the 12 hours, you know, then I would have said, yep, this is now on the 12 hours. The Pound Australia would have given us a much better um, sort of kind of um, um, setup from there, you know, and, and, and London time would be good. Pound yen, so that's the number one, which is the trend line breakout, comes from the weekly, the daily is that plus look that beautiful support resistance and everything is beautiful over there. And uh, well, what, um, you know, I'm very, very happy, surprised with what happened yesterday. And uh, this one, yesterday we were looking to go short as we got the strategy that was telling us over there, isn't it? So let me see if I can pull up the euro. I uh, know, but I don't remember where's the euro yet. <laughs> Because I I just tried to do quickly, so I put A, B, C. Maybe if I view extra large, no, not even that going to be able to see. I will need a microscope for, for that one over there. But anyway, yesterday we were looking to go short based on a beautiful retracement, three touches, everything was in place. The market came back, and as I say, you know, just that I make sure that I was moving my stops from there. And previous size of 20, 20 pips is gone. And now I'm looking to go long because we got the strategy number one, weekly trend line breakout, the date is up. We got the number six, which is, you know, the euro is 38, while the yen is zero. So that's considered very strong for me. To trade, we got a beautiful support as well. So weekly trend line, monthly support. So that's a monthly support that we have. So we got everything, the, the, the price is about the midline, the dungeon has changed, the color has changed. So there we are. So now I'm going to be putting, actually, I, I forgot to change these things to the 30, 30 minus um, in here. So I'm still looking for the pullbacks. All right. So, and just the Asian market, I always try to be a, a little bit, you know, maybe I start changing later uh, today, but because it can it can be a, and, and kick me out. But I'm happy from the morning, maybe to look in the one hour. All right, uh, just let the, the noise over there, and then after that, move move to the 30 minutes. Euro Australia, so this one is continue from here. Continue his run. Um, and yeah, so that's Australia, it's very weak. Now we got, that That was the strategy number one, and as you see, this one did work, isn't it? So this is the point now that I want to draw to everyone. So the reason that we wanted in the strategy number two you know, which is the weekly candle close. Um, okay, what a shame! Can I do? Is that uh, if if you see the weekly candle close is over here, but our is our our in the in the strike number two, which is the weekly candle close direction, we want to wait for this, isn't it? Now you would say, oh, but I miss all the move. No, you don't miss because the strategy number one will get this one over here. You know what I mean? So we can be flexible with the strategy number. Number three, um, sorry, uh, the number number two, which is the weekly candle close direction, is that we can actually from here get that, um, uh, you know, wait for the ABC because we're already in a trade here. You know, we're already in that trade. Everything was matching up according to the to what we planned. And uh, so therefore, that it is. So that was the, the support. If we draw lines here, the support was everywhere in, in this place. And that was the daily breakout. That's when, it, you know, look, unfortunately, the, the news took me off and the number two um, got, got there. But that's how we want to be tracking over there. So Euro New Zealand is another example. So in here now, we only we, we can trade at the moment 
as the market um, displayed is just the you know waiting waiting for um, um, maybe an ABC you know so so the weekly is very strong the the euro is the New Zealand is very weak so in this case euro New Zealand is definitely a big strong support over there weekly trend line delivery cow and that it is so here you know we just need matter of waiting every single day euro Canadian yesterday I was looking to go short over there base it and what I see over here that was I consider as a retracement comes over there get me the trade and again 20 pips over there and that's it so nothing has happened there euro us the same we're looking to for some reason i did not get triggered because remember i, I got the, the unhappy face so when i connected the ea didn't manage not to put me into that tray and um and that there, there we are now this thing seems like it wants to change but i don't i don't see at, the, at this point of time anything you know uh to try from there so we just leave it alone and continue with the rest Swiss yen, uh, we got a, uh, a not trade as well. So this is now the beauty of the EA. So I did set up here a sell. So the market did manage to go up, but it never returned from here. So if it came to the touch, just activate the the the, the trade, but it never it never you know market comes. So it went through, came back, it went the opposite way. So the EA is just not trading. So that's actually a very very good way to. Of, of looking you know to try this one um at all us swiss we continue from uh from this level over there which was a weekly trend line and uh, you know with drawing this line on the line chart you do, we have that as a daily breakout the index meter was with us in that in that position over there and that was the 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 trade now got my stop loss over here i don't know what's going to happen you know i, I could not consider this sort of retracement because the market has done an ABC <clears throat> and actually focus to go in the way up and um, we see over there now we're coming at the end of the month tomorrow is the end of the month and we have the monthly highs over there and um, we'll see what happened with it but at the moment I can consider myself that this is on a winning position you are seeing the same weekly trend line daily breakout monthly support index mira everything was in that place and uh, at the moment i'm just waiting for a setup do not trade on that run always wait for the market what to pull back and retrace australia us um got a stop out that that trade yesterday somewhere oh that, that was um uh the previous the previous week and uh, a new trade got triggered over there somewhere over there um I forgot to disconnect it, so now I got it into that trade. So this is still there. New Zealand, US, the <clears throat> um, the sell, you know, is carrying from from there. Um, ba -ba -ba, this is the yeah, this is the Tuesday, and um, and there we are, you know. So got the trade somewhere over there, fifty pips for the week. That's fine. Upset the losses, and there we are. U.S. Canadian. I have nothing more there apart from the first trade. Now, waiting to see what could happen from there. So, in this case, I will be waiting for the Navy C for that trade over there. Canadian Yin. We got the weekly trend lines. We got the daily breakout. We got the index meter. Is not very low but canadian is still 17 compared to the yen which is zero today we have canadian news and that's now i'm waiting for the market to come back for that it's a big retracement so late up maybe around 12 o'clock i will be continue and changing to the one hour um the 30 minutes sorry time frame new zealand us is about to get a stop out over there from the from the break that is there and uh, same in this one over here so we'll see what what happened with uh with that one over there uh finally we got the australian yen um at the moment yes yeah, it's, it's, it's nearly right to the end it's no hope that getting but this is one that's going to help us to get the the top 10 ones over there and make sure that we are in the beginning of the of the run and from there it could be quite cool over there all right so that would be that um, 
our, our final date today. I will send you, I might maybe in the strategy number two, take this other, the other, um, the other, the, the chats that I'm not interested in to trade, um, you know, just basing in the, on that one there, because I want to, you know, focus into that, um, What I did, I think it is something wrong. Anyway, I correct. I will correct later this one and see what happened with us. one. Okay, so see what happens. So we got our trades in place over there, and um, hopefully now with the market, you know, I think the pound is already every, you know, if Lawrence is in and Sun trades already, we are in um, break even by that time. So make sure the target is in place, and uh, even even trailing with the daily dungeon is a very good way of trailing the, the market like that all right all right my friends so we see you tomorrow mornings and time same place things are getting very exciting tonight we'll have a, a chat with um, a meeting with the gmt so he hasn't seen this one yet so i think it's going to be a good surprise for him when i show him there take care of yourself and we see you tomorrow morning same time same place cheers and bye